Hi, this is Sadek from tutefirst.com. This is a video series for you and in this video I will talk about basic PSP session. And from this video you will be able to learn how to use the session and how to assign some values in the session variable. You will also be able to learn how session IDs is stored in the server and also how it is stored in the uh, browser cookie. So let's get started. Uh, this is an empty folder. Let's take a new file and call it. Sorry, set.php because I'm going to set the um, session here and also take a new file. Let's call it get.php. get.php okay so in the set.php space let's take a php block and for the beginners who never work with session let me tell you one important thing and whenever you work with a session then you have to start the session first so let's start the session first and now assign some values in a session variable let's take uh, the index name as username and assign some value so deck and then echo session started okay and in the get.php page let's start the session again and let's simply echo the session what was our index name our index name was user name okay so in set.php base I'm setting uh, the session variable and assigning a an, uh, value in it and then I'm echoing the session variable in get.php base and now let me tell you a few important thing how session works so whenever the session start is um, run PSP start looking for the session IDs so if it, if it doesn't find any IDs in the uh, in the cookie uh, browser cookie like PSP slash ID or anything like that then uh, PHP assign a new uh, cookie in the browser and also it assign a new session ID in the uh, temp folder in the server so XAMPP temp so if you go to XAMPP and then go to temp then it will assign a new session IDs here <coughs> okay let me now show you in the browser how it is going to be so set.php I'm not going to run this set.php page right so I'm going to run get.php before setting anything I'm trying to get so what uh, can you tell me what will happen here yes you are right it will generate an error because the index is not set username index is not set right but it will set a new temp uh, it will simply set a new session IDs in our temp folder and also in our client okay so let me first show you in the client if we go to application and the session storage sorry cookie open it okay so here is it this is the cookie PSP slash ID and the value of it is U A five two, and you will be able to see the same thing here. So this is not the right one. This one is right U A five two, right? This is the similar one here in the, our browser too. So, but by default there is nothing in our uh, session IDs because uh, we don't assign any values here, right? So in order to assign something, we need to first run this set.php page. So if you run this set.php page, then it will assign a value in it. Now if you look at your session ID and open it, you will see the values, right? So the index name was username and we stored a string, which is S, and then the string length is 5. And the value of it is static, right? You can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Now, if you simply run your get.php base, you will get the value, right? Okay, you will get the value. Now, 
what happens if you simply remove the cookie from your browser and if it is stored in the server right so if you remove from anywhere whether from the server whether from the uh, browser it will generate an error the both of these IDs needs to be present uh, the server in, in server side this cookie needs to be present also the same cookie needs to be stored in the um, client right so let me remove it first from this client and now trying to get this PSP shash ID I, I completely removed it I completely removed it now if I run this get.php page I will get an error because I didn't uh, I don't have any cookies matching with the server and the client right but there will be an interesting thing happen okay so PSP tried to find out the session IDs but it didn't find then it will simply assign a new PSP shash ID now if you click on it you will see a new uh, PSP shash IDs right you can see I06 okay and if you go to your server now you will see this one and the older one is present right now let me go there okay i06 this one is present in the server and the older one is also present right now if you click on the uh, new one then you will see nothing in this file right two okay nothing in it okay now why because i didn't uh, initialize anything in this uh, new session right so now if you simply uh, run this set.php page and then run this get.php page you will get this value right why because you can now open this new one okay you will get this value right now what happened if you remove everything from the server and you have this value in your uh, browser right so if you click on it you are getting this iris right but if you run this it will give you an error yes undefined index because it is not present in the server so this session id is really important it needs to be present in this uh, browser client and also need to be present in the server okay okay can you tell me why this session id is uh, present now because it found this session id uh, in this client i06 and PSP tried to find uh, this session id in the server and it didn't find uh, that is why it is assigning a uh, similar one okay right up here now I'm going to tell you how you can destroy the session uh, like you can use it in your logout system if your application uh, have some kind of authentication so how logout actually works now let me take another file called unset.php maybe it can be uh, logout.php now let's take it as unset.php and in unset.php as I told you earlier that whenever you work with the session you need to start the session first so let's um, start the session okay so there are two things that you can consider you can simply unset the session or you can simply destroy the session so let me show you the difference between these two so first uh, let's run this get.php page okay it will give an error now set the PHP page and get this page okay and now you will get this session IDs and you will get the value in it too okay you are getting the value right now see carefully if I uh, run session unset what will happen it will simply unset all the values in the session IDs the session ID will be present in the server but uh, the values currently available will be uh, will be gone right let me show you uh, let's go to unset.php base currently the session id is set now go to unset.php okay now if you see look at that zero kb all the values are gone right because it has unset okay now let me show you what is session destroy session destroy right and let me set the session first get the session 
and now what I'm going to do is simply going to destroy the session right now you can see that in the temp folder the session ID is completely gone right but the session ID is present in the uh, client it is not gone from this uh, client right so in your logout system you need to uh, if you need to create a good logout system then you need to remove this space slash ID completely from the client and also from the server right thank you for watching this tutorial please like subscribe and comment your valuable feedback thank you